Okay, so the uh, hose there that was connected to the bottom, it's right there in your field of view, just didn't want to come off. So I decided to let it go and disconnected it. You can see right here is where it connects to, I believe that's going to the transmission. That should be the transmission fluid as you see the transmission fluid uh, dipstick is right there. So I disconnected the clamp, which you'll see is sitting right here now. You can see that, yeah. Sitting right there and I disconnected on this end. So when I pull the radiator out, i got to remember that because I'll have to disconnect that cable or that hose and uh, take that into account when I put the new radiator in. Now over here, as you can see, the radiator is still connected at the bottom. So I'm going to try pulling it up and see if I can get a better angle at it. But the uh, bottom intake of the transmission fluid is disconnected now. So it should all come out except for that bottom radiator hose. And then we can take the shroud off and take the radiator to Napa and get a new one.